everyone and welcome back to Horse Haven. We are back once again with our cousin who is letting us know because we have reached rank number 12. It is time to open up the train station and get these old tracks working again. So I had no idea that we were actually going to work on this too. So that's a pretty exciting bit of news. I mean, opening a train station, that can make our ranch into a really popular little hub. So let's get to work. Looks like she's gonna give us the coinage for it. Oh, what a wonderful cousin. All right, and we're gonna unlock the building. One station isn't enough to transport horses to France. We need to build another in France. Oh boy. <laughs> and we're back off to the French stables, which we haven't done too much in just yet. So here we go. Oh boy, all right. And we've unlocked this building. The Pony Express is at your service. Now here's a little fun fact, everybody. You cannot take a train from Montana to France. They are an ocean apart, and you may not take a train from Montana to France, just to clear that up. You can transport your horses between two villagers once the railway, railway stations are complete. All right, so that's wonderful. And here we are back in our French ranch, which I suppose we can come into at any time. I wonder if we wanna start repairing things here. There we go. Oh, look at these cute little stables. I wonder how much we need to repair. Here's our little farm center. Well, I, I can't spend too much money repairing all of it, but we need to get our little storage place fixed up. All right, there we go. I don't think it's quite ready. Oh, and our little apple tree. There we go. Yeah, I don't think it's quite ready to celebrate with uh, actually having horses here, but it looks like we can tidy things up on the French ranch quite a bit. I love all the trees here. You guys know I'm a huge sucker for beautiful trees. All right, let's go back to our American ranch. There we go. And so the day has actually come, you guys, because we do want to work more on the exciting world of breeding our horses. It is actually time to take Scarlet Apple and to sell her. Well, I don't know. Let me check something real quick. So... It would let us breed Apple and her son, Bolt, I think. Would it let us do that? It actually will. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. But I think we might actually do that because I really like Apple and it seems silly to sell her when we can just breed them and see what happens. So I think we might do that. And I think we might rush one of the stables being built. Ah, no! It used to be 100 coins, and now it's 200, so we can't rush the stables being built. Oh, that's such a pity. All right, well, um, hmm. Hero, I'm getting in a very awkward position here. What do I do, boy? I'm gonna come over. Oh, you're so expensive to feed now. I see what they mean. We can give them a lot of food, but I guess... I guess people were right. If we keep Hero, he's going to be increasingly expensive to feed, but he has very weak stats, so he won't make us a lot of money in the steeplechases. And he's a very common breed of horse, so he's not going to help us out too much when it comes to, uh, when it comes to breeding and things like that. Oh my goodness, Hero. I'm going to skip that need because I don't think we'll be able to do anything about it. And to honor him, I'm going to have him go up one more level before we sell him. So, ah, oh man. Oh, that was the wait time, not the actual, like, skip time for the food. Oh, what a waste of diamonds. Well, we're learning. We're learning, and I'd rather make these kinds of silly mistakes than have you guys end up <laughs> having issues with them. So, Hero, you're ironically one experience point away from leveling up and I don't think I can help you with that. All right, but down here we need to plant some soybeans. I also would love to upgrade another field so it can handle soybeans. I'm gonna get some corn planted. All right, come here. I'm gonna get some oats planted. Oh dear. You know, it might be worth it to spread our fields out just so I could get the, the ones we need clicked on correctly. All right, let's get a little bit of grass planted. All right, so Ooh, this is going to be tough. Oh, Hiro, 
You've been amazing. You've really helped us to like get our our whole herd founded. You've helped to get the ranch going. And I'm going to say that we're selling you to like a really wonderful person who's going to give you a really awesome, like comfortable life, okay? Oh, this is hard. So hard. But we need the room for the baby that they're going to have for the new foal. Uh, and this is this is necessary because he he's not really a rare breed and he doesn't have a really high stats so oh hero i love you oh bye hero <laughs> achievement complete see they wanted us to do it they wanted us to do it oh man that was really hard all right well let's come over here and uh well let's feed this guy first oh man our beautiful canadian we sold our very first horse so that we can work with your babies, you know. I hope it's worth it, Bolt. Do you think it's worth it? Let's see what he thinks of those soybeans. He is a gorgeous horse, too. What do you think of those soybeans, huh? You gonna let us know yet? Level 6. Not bad. Alright, so he's now worth 700. And let's back up. And we're gonna come into the breeding house. And we are actually going to breed Apple and Bolt. And let's see what kind of babies we can end up with. So there's a chance of a new baby, which would be American Indian. This is the one that we are aiming for. This is the one that we're trying to get to. And if they have the American Indian, the base value for that one is 551 coins. So I'm starting to see how it really is kind of a breeding game. Because, I mean, Hero at level 10 sold for, or level 11 only sold for 1,200 coins. So a brand new baby would have been right there. Now we could also end up with another Canadian. Or we could end up with a Mustang. And it looks like if we can get up to uh, the American Indian, then the stamina would be really good. So let's see what we're going to end up with here. What kind of possible foal are we going to have? It's pretty much an even chance in each direction. <gasps> yes! The American Indian! Oh, that's perfect! Alright, so it is going to be about 30 minutes before this little one's born. But we can ask for help to save some time. <gasps> oh my goodness, was he just born? He was! Look at him! Alright, so we have just gotten a foal, an American Indian. There we go, that's what we needed. There. And we're going to actually name this little boy. Let's go with Bramble. Oh, look at him! Welcome, Bramble! Oh my gosh! Well, that was a really lucky hit because we ended up with the very rare little baby we really wanted. Look at him! He's very hard to see the colors on. Alright, what do you think of that little bit of soybean? And look at his stamina! He's gonna be a fantastic racer when we get him there. Yes, yeah, that's so little guy. All right, do you want some corn? I can get you some corn. So this is good. We needed the American Indian so we can start breeding for some of the rare horses. And we'll have to see what kind of stat like stats we're able to breed up with as time goes on. You want some oats in a minute? You kind of want the more expensive stuff straight off, don't ya? Alright, looks like I got a little bit of grass down here I can collect. And I need to gather from Apollo. I'm gonna let Apple out to roam because she's done a good job. Go ahead and free roam, Apple. Man, she's so pretty. So we're gonna go let her out in the pasture, or the paddock, I should say. She's gonna roam around and she actually gains experience for us while she walks in the, the paddock. Alright, then we're gonna come back over here. And we're gonna feed our little guy. There you go, Bramble. He's just a teeny baby right now. I think he takes more work to level up than the others, too. So interesting. And then from, from you, Bramble, we're going to try to get some more lines of very attractive horses. There we go. I guess we're gonna need another Canadian, a little female Canadian. Oh man, see how complicated things start getting? 
<laughs> so things are gonna get very, very interesting with our little ones. Let's gather up this corn. And let's check on what we sold a horse, we bred a horse. And our cousin really wants us, oh, we should visit a friend's ranch in just a moment. That would be a smart idea. And let's check on what achievements we've earned. We sold a horse, it was so hard, but it did get us a another award. Oh, and we need to clear that little patch of grass out of there. All right, what am I gonna do with you, Bramble? Well, for now, I'm just gonna enjoy the fact that we have a nice stamina horse. And I guess we'll just focus on raising Bramble for a little while, kind of getting his stats up and getting him ready, because it looks like he's gonna be a lot more work than the other guys. He's not even level two yet. So no wonder he's worth so much. All right, let's go ahead and spread this down. Now, I wonder if you can use the breeding um, house and then just sell the babies that you get as a result. But I also, I also don't want to just like churn out horses for no reason. <laughs> so we'll see. All right, oh, and now you want the expensive food. I don't even have that yet, buddy. Well, now I have to upgrade my feeding things so I can give him the expensive food. Bunch knuckles. All right, so I'll have to upgrade the mill. And we're going to have to be working on that now because I don't have the things that he needs to eat. Phew. All right, well, good news is we have managed to get um, a happy little bramble. And he is our American... Oh, there you go, little one. He is our American Indian, and from him, I'm hoping that we can breed up, ooh, breed up some of the other horses. I guess, is this by rarity, or, that's speed, interesting. Oh, I see, you can turn on multiple filters. Okay, and if we just wanted high stamina, and I wanted to sort, because I'm, I'm kind of enchanted with stamina, we can now get Morgans. Which are Canadian Pacers and American Indians. I really like the look of the Morgan. I really do. And we can also get these guys. So, Canadians and American Indian. Yeah, that's what we're going for here. So we did end up with an American Indian from our Canadian, but he's a little boy. Oh boy, I just realized we might need to, we might need to try again. Hmm, can we try again? Is that something we can do? Can we breed these two again? But then what would happen with their baby if I don't have a stable to put it in? Hmm. Let's go ahead and breed them. And then I'll have to come back later and we'll figure out what happens with the baby if you don't have a stable to put them in. It's a Mustang! So it's a newborn Mustang on the way. And it's a little boy, so if we don't have a stable, do we just sell him? Hmm, I'm gonna have to figure it out. But alright guys, we are going to have to do a lot of upgrades to keep up with how quickly our ranch is growing. Oh my goodness, oh, there we go, so these guys are, are gone into the breeding house, I see how it is. In fact, I wonder, hang on a second, I don't wanna skip, can I have my friends help me out with this? I don't think I can. I don't think I can, but all right. So it looks like um, maybe we can just sell the poor little guy, but that'll, that'll be okay. We're gonna just have to go with the feeling that all of our horses end up in good families. So I'm going to continue upgrading our ranch and taking care of our horses, and I will see you guys next time when hopefully we will have the feed that we need for our little American paint. And we will try to get him leveled up so that we can take him off over to the steeple chases and earn lots and lots of coins so that we can, can continue building up our ranch. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.